Welcome to another video from the Ultimate GED Math course. In this video, we will continue our lesson on operations on whole numbers. We will be looking at exponents in today's video. There are a lot more to exponents than what we will cover in this video. This is because we will cover exponents again when we look at exponents in algebra. Before we even look at our question, I want us to solve this problem permanently. Exponent shows the number of times a number multiplies itself. 2 exponent 3 is not the same as 2 times 3. 2 exponent 3 means 2 multiplying itself 3 times. That is 2 times 2 times 2. This is 2 times 2, which is 4. Then 4 times 2, which is 8. This is not the same as 2 times 3, which is simply 6. 5 exponent 4 is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. This will give us 625. It is not 5 times 4, which is simply 20. I cannot count the number of times I've seen students get this part wrong. Please take note of it if you're not already familiar with it. Now that I've gotten this out the way, let's look at our question. Question 5. We are supposed to calculate 3 exponent 10 times 3 exponent 5 all over 3 exponent 12 without using a calculator. If you have two numbers multiplying and the bases are the same, you can just add the exponent. Example, let's look at 2 exponent 3 times 2 exponent 4. Because they both have the same basis, which is 2 in this case, we can just add the exponents. So this will be 2 exponent 3 plus 4, which is 2 exponent 7. Now, if you have a number being divided by another number with the same base, then you can simply subtract the exponents. So 2 exponent 5 divided by 2 exponent 2 will be 2 exponent 5 minus 2, which is 2 exponent 3. Please, these two rules apply only when the bases are the same. It will not work for 3 exponent 5 times 2 exponent 4. The bases are different. One is 3 and the other is 2. Even if the exponents are the same and the bases are different, it won't work. Example, 3 exponent 5 times 2 exponent 5. The exponents being the same is irrelevant. The bases are not the same, so we can't use this. So for our question, we can see that they'll all have the base of 3, so the rules can apply. So 3 exponent 10 is multiplying 3 exponent 5, so we can add the exponents to get 3 exponent 10 plus 5. This will give us 3 exponent 15. This 3 exponent 15 is divided by 3 exponent 12. We know that when terms with the same base divide, we can simply subtract their exponent. So we have 3 exponent 15 minus 12, which is 3 exponent 3. So this is the answer. They could have required you to further simplify the 3 exponent 3, which would be 3 times 3 times 3. This will be 27. Before we look at our next question, let's explore the concept of exponent 1 and exponent 0. We will explain them fully, but you don't really need the explanation to solve GED math questions. If you can remember the general statements, you're good. The explanations are for those who care to know. The concept of exponent 1. Any number exponent 1 is the same number. Example, 5 exponent 1 is 5. That's all you need to remember if you don't care about why. We said exponents represent the number of times a number repeats itself. So if we say 2 exponent 1, then it means 2 repeats just 1, which will simply be 2. So 76 exponent 1 is 76. The concept of exponent 0. Any number exponent 0 is 1. Example, 5 exponent 0 is 1. That's all you need to remember if you don't care about the y. Let's look at 2 exponent 3 divided by 2 exponent 3. In mathematics, any number divided by itself is 1. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1. Basically, if the numerator and denominator of a fraction are the same, then the value is 1. The numerator is basically the top number, and the denominator is basically the bottom number. So we know the value of this is 1. Since the numerator and denominator are the same, but in exponents, we learned that when two things divide, provided the base is the same, you can subtract the exponent. 
We learned this from the previous question. So this can be written as 2 exponent 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So this is 2 exponent 0. 2 exponent 3 over 2 exponent 3 is 1. And 2 exponent 3 over 2 exponent 3 is also 2 exponent 0. So we can say, therefore, that 2 exponent 0 must be equal to 1. We can take any number and exponent. So far as the numerator and denominator are the same, we will end up with the same thing. Here, we chose 5 exponent 4, and we ended up with 5 exponent 0 equals 1. Here, we chose 7 exponent 2, and we ended up with 7 exponent 0 equals 1. Question 6. Calculate 2 exponent minus 3 times 16. Do not use a calculator. This was the first question on our GED Math 2021 video, and some students weren't able to solve it. So let's look at it here. Method 1. I don't really expect most people at this stage in the GED course to use this method, but I want to throw it out there because it's easy and straightforward. Method 2 is what most of you will be familiar with. The first method just requires that you know that 16 can be written as 2 exponent 4. Try it on your calculator. Once you know that, then you can replace the 16 with 2 exponent 4. We have 2 exponent minus 3 times 2 exponent 4. We learned earlier that if you have two numbers multiplying and the bases are the same, you can just add the exponents. So here we will have 2 exponent minus 3 plus 4. We haven't done negative yet, but negative 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 minus 3, which is 1. So we have 2 exponent 1. We know that any number exponent 1 is the same number. So 2 exponent 1 is simply 2. This is our answer. Method 2. First, we have to know that we can move a number with an exponent from the numerator to the denominator or denominator to the numerator by changing the sign of the exponent. Example, if you have 2 times 7 exponent negative 4 over 3, we can move the 7 exponent negative 4 from the numerator to the denominator. If we do that, then we have to change the exponent negative 4 to exponent positive 4. So we have 2 over 3 times 7 exponent positive 4. The 7 exponent negative 4 in the numerator became 7 exponent positive 4 in the denominator. Notice that there's this 2 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. If you are not given any values in either one or both, you can use 1. This is not a necessary step, but can serve as a guide. If you want more explanations on why we can put 1, you can ask in the comment section or visit ultimateged.com for more help. Let's go to our question. We have 2 exponent negative 3 times 16. Here we do not have a denominator, so we can use 1. So we'll have 2 exponent negative 3 times 16 over 1. We know we can move the 2 exponent negative 3 to the denominator to become 2 exponent 3. Notice that the exponent negative 3 became the exponent positive 3. 1 times 2 exponent 3 is simply 2 exponent 3. So we have 16 over 2 exponent 3. 2 exponent 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. We have 16 divided by 8. This will give us 2 as our final answer. Please note that for teaching purposes, we expand and explain answers and details. On your GED test, please don't waste time on writing and expanding anything. We will end this video here. Please like and share this video and subscribe for more. You can also visit ultimateged.com. We will be adding more content there. Have a great day. See you in the next video.